Well, what's going on YouTube fam? Today I will give you guys a quick look at your pine green uh, Nike airships. Before I get into the video and go over the shoes, if you're new to my channel, this is your first time stumbling across a video of mine, welcome. Thanks for dropping by to kick it with me, but look, while I have you here, do me a huge favor. Hit the subscribe button, click that notification bell. That way when I upload new material, post new content or anything, you get notified and you can head to the channel see what I uploaded for you guys. If you're on social media, such as like Instagram, Twitter, stuff like that, you enjoy pictures of sneakers, uh, outfits with sneakers, pretty much anything related to kicks, honestly, give me a follow. You can find me. I am at IMTMCII. And lastly, after you watch the video, if you enjoy it, hit the thumbs up. Really goes a long way. It's an indicator to me. Let me know that you guys enjoy the content. It just makes me want to keep recording these videos whenever I have new pickups. So if you enjoy it, hit the thumbs up. Really goes a long way. So now that the intro is out of the way for all my first timers, we can dive right into the review. Uh, so like I mentioned, these are the Pine Green S-Ships. Nike Jordan brand has been blessing us with some of uh, some of the original colorways that came out way back in the 80s of the S-Ships, and this is one of the colorways. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go over like the different materials used on the shoe, uh, then I'm gonna hop into quality control for a little bit, and then towards the end of the video, lace them up, toss them on feet, and go over sizing and comfort and all that stuff for you guys. So just stick around for the whole video. Pretty much got you guys covered for everything on the shoes. So here we go. Like I mentioned, these are pretty much a retro of a shoe that released back in the 80s. And I'll find like an old uh, at sales ad with some different colors. And this white and green colorway was one of the original colorways that released uh, way back in the day. So you guys can see that from the little newspaper clipping. So this is just a retro of that shoe, pretty much. And um, for those who don't know, like MJ played in the S-Ship for a little while before the actual Jordan 1 was his silhouette that he began to play in. Uh, he didn't play in the white and green, obviously, but this was just a colorway that was for sale and was available to the general public. And um, just like all the other colors, it's just like a, you know, almost have a, a Jordan 1 kind of feel to it because, you know, these came out before the actual Jordan 1. So, Let's go over like the material first, like I mentioned. So the upper is kind of like a synthetic uh, feel. It's not like a really good grain of leather on here. It feels kind of like the leather that we would get on like some of your Nike Dunks. Um, it's not like, yeah, it's, it's like a real synthetic kind of cheap, uh, I guess a cheap, cheap grain of leather that they used on here. It's like not the best quality. Um, kind of like a nike dunk almost not as stiff and plastic as some of your cheap dunks but it's it's okay it's a, it's a decent grain of leather for what it is uh you got the nylon tongue got the white laces on here they do have an extra set of laces i'll show you guys that in a second if you're not a fan of the uh the clean look with the white laces but you do have a jump man in the inside instead of nike written on there you got the size tag right here um, and like I said, it's just a, a regular, almost Jordan 1 looking shoe. So when they first designed these and the Jordan 1s, they just kind of took a little bit of pieces from this. And, you know, now we have the iconic Jordan 1s. But, you know, this is the shoe before the Jordan 1. Um, show you guys more of the leather on here and more of the look of the shoe. Have that same swoosh. Uh, nice size swoosh on the shoe as you guys can see got a nice really big swoosh on here uh, It's 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 a hit and miss and hate and love silhouette so far for what I've seen in the sneaker community um, Seem like you know if you really want a pair and want to get your hands on a pair you can resale isn't crazy for uh, majority of the colors that have been releasing. I think that Ama Minier colorway may be going for a lot in a New Beginnings colorway, only because those were like really super limited. But the University Gold pair, the white and orange pair, uh, these, you can really find these for pretty much close to, you know, retail, not that much more. So here's your little midsole. Have like that same midsole from the 85 Jordan 1s, sort of. Um, and that's pretty much it, man. It's not too much to really show as far as the materials go. Um, you know, it's just a, a airship silhouette and um, the materials is it's just okay. You know, like I said, it's not the best, but it's not horrible either. I think some of the Nike Dunks that we've been getting have way worse and more cheap 
fielding type material and leather on here. But these are these are decent. Not as good as some of your Jordan ones, and um, but it's better than like a, a Nike Dunk High to me. So that's the materials. Jumping on the quality control. I uh, don't have much to complain about. Uh, normally you would have like scuff marks and glue marks along the midsole and stuff like that, uh, stitching issues and paint issues. I don't really have any issues with these. Um, and that's shocking. Uh, normally, like I said, you know, QC with Jordan brand and Nike is really hit and miss. But for these seem like it's okay. I don't have much to complain about, honestly. I thought I would have a lot of imperfections and scuffs and even glue marks, but it's very minimal. Uh, the little bit of stuff that I was able to see you guys really won't be able to see at all once I toss these on feet So overall QC is really good on here decent QC So if you in the market for these you shouldn't have any stains or issues or anything with you guys pair So hats off to Nike. Thanks for not having a Horrible QC like you've been having with some of the other stuff. So that's the QC. I'll show you guys the box really quick uh, so just like the uh, University Gold pair and some of the other airships, you've been getting a, a colorful box, which is cool. Always like special boxes. So you got that pine green box. Uh, instead of like the, the Jordan 1 box we would get, you got the green with the white Nike. Here is your product code, your label, your color breakdown. You can scan this with your camera. It just opens up the Nike app. Doesn't do anything special. It doesn't take you to the shoe or anything like that. Just opens up the regular Nike app. I think at some point it will, but for right now, I just open up the Nike app. Doesn't do anything special like that. Like I mentioned, you have an extra set of laces. If you're not a fan of the white, you can swap them out and put the green in. Me, I like the way the white look with these. So when I rock them, most likely to keep the white laces in. But like I said, there's another option if you don't like that. Here's a little booklet that comes with, uh, that's been coming with the airships. So I have like a little booklet and you guys can pause the video and read this stuff if you want. Uh, I won't read any of this and go through it, but it's like a little breakdown, a little history about the shoe, the materials used on here. So like I mentioned, if you real interested in all of this stuff, just pause the video and you guys can read through it. So cool little booklet that you get. I thought that was a nice little touch on here. Coming to the inside, the shoes were stuffed with regular paper instead of like your cardboard shoe trees. Other than that, nothing real special as far as the packaging or anything though. So that is your box, your booklet, laces that you get. Show you the kicks one more time before I take them off of here and toss them on feet. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of the airship. If you have any or in the market for any, or just waiting for a colorway you might like. Just seem like it's a, you know, a hit and miss shoe right now with the sneaker community. I like it. It's a part of history. Uh, it's an older shoe that they're retro in. And, you know, I like Dunks and Jordan ones and just shoes that look like this. I think they're easy to wear. And I think once they look uh, beat up with some miles on it, they only look better with age and some wear on them. So that's why I cop this color. And I don't have. Uh, many all white shoes with just a little bit of hints of green on it. So thought I cop these uh, But leave, let me know what you think usually I reply to you guys when you leave me comments If I don't reply to exactly what you say to me, I'm gonna hit the heart button or the thumbs up button uh, So let's talk in the comment section curious to see what you guys got to say about these But I'm gonna take them off here now Just making sure you get good looks and I'm gonna lace them up and toss them on feet. So you guys hang tight uh, Let's lace these up All right guys, here's a quick on feet look at your pine green Nike airships. I just want to show you guys what these look like really quick on feet. Uh, so first things first, let's jump right into sizing. Usually the most requests and asked question from you guys anyway. So to me, my feet are somewhat narrow on the medium width size. And uh, to me, I like a snug exact fit. And I usually go down a half size. And I went down a half size in these and, these, and they fit me perfectly. And when I say like down a half size for a snug fit, talking about like a sock, that one-to-one -one fit, uh, don't have much room in it, not to wear as exact, and my toes are balled up and I'm in pain after a few hours or something like that. It's just more of a snug exact fit. That's just how I like my shoes to fit. I don't feel like my feet are doing any more growing, so I like a real snug exact fit on my kicks. If you don't like that, go true to size and you should be good. Uh, if you have wide feet and you want like that snug, uh, one to one fit like I do uh, go true to size you should be okay but if you want a little bit of room and you have wide feet you may want to consider going up a half size to get that just because the shoes are 
you know, kind of narrow and you feel it right here in this area. So really all about preference and how you like your shoes to fit. Uh, as far as comfort go, the S-Strips came out in the early 80s. I want to say like 84, somewhere like that. And Nike haven't changed the technology for its cushioning and how soft the shoes are, anything like that. So you're going to feel a lot of the ground in these. It's a real flat shoe. Uh, kind of feel like a Jordan 1 in a dunk. Uh, you could casually wear them all day, not be in any pain or anything like that. But if you're looking for up-to-date comfort and softness and bounce and stuff like that, you just won't get that in these at all. But I, like I said, wear them for a while, break them in. They're only going to start to feel better and better on your feet. So won't ramble anymore. Just wanted to share out what they look like really quick on feet. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Hit that notification button, but I'm going to wrap the video up here. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you all on the next one. Peace.